All right, guys, welcome back. I'm Technivorous. Today I'm going to be showing you some different settings for different for profiles for different types of plastic, such as ABS, PLA, or PETG. Now, the important thing to remember here is uh, I will, of course, put the link to my main profile, which is this Kira Ender 3 Post Hot End Fix profile um, down below. But that is just going to be a base starting point. You can run that with PLA with no problem right from the download, uh, and you should get decent prints. There are, however, a few things that we will be changing. So today, um, we're going to set up first a PLA profile, and we're going to do that right now. So basically, what we're going to be doing is leaving uh, the layer height, the line width, all of this stuff. We're, we're going to change very few settings from my base profile. And what we're going to do is go down to the printing temperature, uh, and we're going to set it to 215 or 210. That is a good base point for PLA because you're going to be probably 5 degrees uh, in either direction uh, from there. So you'll you'll be basically between 200 to 205 uh, to 220. That is the general PLA range. Some PLAs do go higher, and if your PLA has any sort of translucent quality to it at all, I would recommend turning it up. Um, transparency is a good indicator that that plastic will contain at least some amount of PETG and therefore require a slightly higher temperature. One good example of this is if you've seen my review for the ColorMe 3D Purple Haze Filament. It is a PLA, but it prints at 240, and it does have a semi-translucent quality to it. Uh, now that you have your temperature set, you can go ahead and leave the build plate at 55 for PLA. Feel free to turn it up to 60 if that makes you more comfortable. I honestly, I don't change this for any of my prints other than uh, TPU because I have PEI, so it's really good adhesion. I don't need to worry about, I mean, I could just leave it off, to be honest. Um, the other thing you want to make sure you have on when you're printing PLA is the fan. You want to enable print cooling, and you want it at 100%. Okay? And that's basically it. Uh, most of my profiles will rock a skirt. If you're having adhesion problems, you can go ahead and kick it up to a brim or a raft, but usually nine times out of ten, a skirt is sufficient. I will say if you're printing something that is taller than it is wide, you probably want to change this to brim, but other than that, not a big deal. Um, spiralized contour, you want to make sure this is unchecked. It should be unchecked when you download the profile. I was just printing a vase, so I may have accidentally turned it on. Um, but other than that, it's pretty simple. You, you, like I said, you can print straightforward with this. Um, and you're going to get a nice PLA profile. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Settings, Profile, Manage Profiles. If it ever loads here, um, this is the one I'm working on. I changed it, okay? So what I'm going to do is hit Create. And we are going to go ahead and get rid of the post hot and fix tag, and I'm going to save this as PLA. And we're going to say 0.2 because uh, this is going to determine we're, we're going to make a couple of these. So uh, 0.2 there. Go ahead and close that out. And we're going to go back up here. I'm going to change this to 0.16. And we will do the same thing again. Create. Set a 0.2. It's going to be 0.16. OK. And close that out again. And we will do one at half of that. Now, you could do one for 0.12 and 0.16. 04.04 is going to give you a really, really nice model. It's just going to take forever. So as we're turning this number down, the layer height, we are increasing the time of our print, but we are also decreasing the visibility of layer lines and therefore coming out with a smoother print. So profile, manage profiles, create, we'll change this to 0.08. Okay. Now as I'm adding these, you can see... And now if I go up here to settings and I go to profile, you can see they are now in here, right here. Um, and in fact, I'm going to fix this because I got an ampersand in there, or a hashtag as you kids these days would say. Uh, profile, 
manage profiles, really easy to change names and stuff. So rename, just get rid of that ampers or that hashtag. Ampersand. It's not even an ampersand. An ampersand is the and symbol. Um, back in my day, we used to call that the pound sign, not the ampersand. Anyway, uh, you can see I have my three different profiles here. Um, point two, which is going to be my largest layer height and therefore my least quality but fastest printing model. All the way up to point eight, which is the best looking profile that I have so far. And the only difference in there, like I said, is the layer height. You're going to want to make sure that as you're printing and checking and getting new PLAs and checking the temperature that you're printing at the right temperature for that PLA. So once you pick the quality you want, you are still going to have to go in and make sure that the temperature is where you need it to be. They're not all exactly the same. So um, this is a, a super simple way to set up a Ender 3 PLA profile. Uh, all you have to do is grab that main profile and make a couple of tweaks. Um, I honestly didn't have these created before because there's maybe three settings that I change when I go in between printing PLAs where I'll decide what quality I want, change the layer height, and then I will go and make sure my printing temperature is adequate, and I always double check to make sure that my fan is on. Other than that, um, I'm pretty much running the same thing through all my PLA prints. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Stay tuned because the next episode coming up is going to... Uh, set up a profile for vase mode for you and then we will go into setting up a ABS, a PETG separate profiles. We're going to do that in three separate videos just to keep them kind of short and let people go directly to the one that they want to see. So um, yeah, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button guys and stay tuned for more. We got lots to see. And as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.